a lot of people are super jealous of you chosen ones and they do things that reveal that they are and they don't even know it they don't know that they are revealing that they have an issue with you they'll do things thinking that you wouldn't dare say anything about it because a lot of people chosen ones see that you are a very respectable person you mind your own business you have good energy most of the time you are in such a good mood and a lot of people chosen ones are irritated at the fact that you shine from the inside out that you are optimistic about life that when you walk into that place of business wherever you work at or whether it's school or whatever you're doing when you walk into wherever you walk into you walk into it like you belong there you walk in it like you belong there. You walk in there like you know what you're doing and you're ready to seize whatever is put before you. And a lot of people feel threatened and intimidated by that. And they show it in ways that they don't realize that they're showing it. They do little things, chosen ones, like watching you obsessively. They'll watch everything you do and you see you about to drop it, but they're trying to tell you you're about to drop it before you drop it. Why? Because they don't like the fact that you are looking like you got your shit together, like you looking like you are ready for the day, like you, you organized, you got yourself cleaned up and nice and fixed up well. So they have to point out something about you or about something that you're doing to make you feel shaky to make you feel like you not all together to project insecurity on you to project uncertainty on you to project timidity on you to project fear on you you ever been minding your business doing your job or working at whatever you were doing focused and somebody come along and say what's wrong you nervous what's wrong y'all you mad what's wrong y'all you you, you you looking kind of filling the blank and you not even thinking like that? You simply minding your business, focused on what it is you need to do? They're projecting on you. They want you to feel this because they don't like the fact that you walking in there looking like you got your shit together. They don't like the fact that you're not asking nobody for anything. They don't like the fact that you are not looking for validation. You do not care if people don't like you. See, people want you to care that they don't like you. That's what I found in our world. People really want you to care that they don't like you. Notice on all these social media platforms, there's a like button or something for you to like it. And a lot of people have let that like button pump their head up as if they really have some power. And they didn't do that by accident. They know that a lot of people in our world don't feel enough, don't love themselves, don't feel worthy. They walk around with a lot of fake confidence. Their confidence is fake because it's built off of a faulty, shaky foundation. It's built off of what's outside of them versus what's in them and who they were naturally born to be and who they are originally. Their worth isn't based on the fact that just by them being born, just by who they come from, they are divine, they are amazing, they are wonderful, they are every good thing. No, they need things outside of themselves to convince themselves and to convince other people that they are, air quotes, the shit. But chosen ones, you know that you are with or without anything. You know who you are. And you walk like this and you talk like this. And a lot of people will be pressed and bothered by the fact that you feel yourself and it ain't got nothing to do with them. That you love yourself and it ain't got nothing to do with them. That you don't care to be included in whatever they got going on. It has nothing to do with them. Your self-love has nothing to do with them. Who you are as a person has nothing to do with them. And a lot of people, chosen ones, they want that control. They want that power. They thought you was one of them. They thought you was one of them, chosen ones. They thought you was one of them. And when they find out that you ain't one of them, oh, they be 38 hot. They be 38 high, baby. A lot of people chosen ones, they be asking themselves, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Because they are looking at you from the outside, from the physical. They may be comparing you to other people to try to figure out why do you walk so tall with your chest out? Like you know who you are, not needing anybody's validation or approval, not needing to be on the phone 24 seven with somebody else, not being afraid to walk alone or not needing a crowd. They wonder who do you think you are? Walking like you know you look good. 
walking like you know that you know what you know. You're not afraid to be yourself. You're not afraid of what you don't know. You are able to be your raw, genuine, authentic self. And a lot of people hate you for this. They hate you for this. And what they will do is they will try to pick at you and do things to get under your skin until they agitate you so much so till they take you out of that place of contentment. They want to take you out of that place of being focused on yourself and your happiness and your joy because they want you to be focused on them. They want you to focus on the fact that they are trying to annoy you. They want you to focus on the fact that they are trying to get up under your skin because they don't like the fact that you're focused on yourself. See, chosen ones, a lot of people are bothered by the fact that you are focused on yourself. I'm going to say that again. A lot of people are simply bothered by the fact that you are focused on yourself. They're bothered by the fact that you do not care if they like you or not. See, people feel like them liking you is a powerful thing. Like I said, social media has got people's head pumped up. They think that like button really makes them have power. A lot of people build their confidence up off of likes or people liking them or a lot of people liking them or being popular in the eyes of people. When really being liked and being popular is overrated. And I say that because a lot of times like you for the wrong reasons. A lot of people flock to you for the wrong reasons. While there are some genuine people who like you for you, there are a lot of people when they see you popular, when they see a lot of people like you, they join in simply because they want to be a part of it. They want to join the bandwagon. They might see something in it for themselves. They may benefit off of your energy. A lot of people are leeches. But chosen ones, you don't need none of that. You don't need none of that. And you may have wondered, what is it? Why do people have such a problem with you minding your business? Why do people have such a problem with you not caring to be a part of their little group or their little clique or their little clan? Why do people have such a problem with you doing your own thing? Why do people have such a problem with you standing in your own power? It's because people be wanting to energy check you. People be wanting to be dominant over you. People want to have the dominant power of energy energy the fact that you stand tall in who you are the fact that you don't need anybody to speak up for you the fact that you can speak up when you need to the fact that you don't let people just think they're gonna walk all over you and slide with things will have people going above and beyond to make others look at you in a different way you know who you are chosen ones you know you try to do everything in decency you know you try to treat people with respect and you don't go off the energy of other people around you. And just because other people got their nose tooted in the air don't mean you're going to have yours tooted in the air. Just because other people are down and sad around you doesn't mean you're going to let that affect you. Or just because a lot of people around you are fighting for attention and to be the center of attention doesn't mean you're going to go above and beyond to be extra to try to compete with it. Because you know who you are. You stand in who you are. You don't have to do the most. You don't have to do too much. And a lot of people, chosen ones, do not like the fact that you don't have to do the most. You don't have to do all that to get attention. A lot of people feel chosen ones like you can see through them. They feel a sense of smallness in your presence because here you are someone unafraid to be who you are truly unapologetically. No matter what that is, you accept all parts of yourself, all sides of yourself. You're raw with it. If you feel something, you will speak it. If you don't want to deal with folks, you're not going to deal with them. If you want to say it, you're going to say it. If you want to leave it alone, you're going to leave it along chosen ones you intimidate people just by you not saying anything at all a lot of people feel checked just by your silence chosen ones tell me i'm lying i'm not i know i ain't lying y'all have had people who have wanted to fight you because of how your energy has checked that ass how your energy has made them feel you ain't have to say a word it was probably your facial expression it was probably your just saying forget it i'm done you know what i wash my hands with you i'm not even gonna deal with you no more i'm not even gonna look at you no more i don't even I, who, you don't even exist to me i'm just going on about my day and about my life and people will be offended at their chosen ones because they want to get an arousal out of you they want to go back and forth with you they're upset because you're not giving them the attention they want they want your attention they want you to focus on them
They want you to focus on the fact that they're trying to irritate you. They want you to focus on the fact that they are trying to make you feel small. They want you to focus on the fact that they're trying to make you think lower of yourself. The fact that you are secure in who you are, you are secure in your energy, will have people going out of their way to make you feel like you don't have it together. They gonna point out everything that they feel like wrong. Before you can pick up what you know you dropped, they gonna try to say it real loud so that other people can look, so that you can feel uneasy, so that you can feel like you are not on your A game. They gonna tell you how your lace might be lifting. They gonna tell you real loud so everybody can hear. They gonna throw in a little slick joke or two about what you got on. They gonna act like they joking, but really they trying to throw a shot at you because why? They see you in your power. They see you confident. They see you loving on yourself. They see you unbothered. They see you not focused on them. They see you not thinking about them and what they gonna do. They gonna try to do everything they can, chosen ones, to get you to focus on them, to do things, to pick, 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 pick at you. Why? Because your energy is powerful. It's all about being dominant. These people are fearful of the fact, chosen ones, that your energy is so strong and potent and solid and pure. It's true. It's genuine. See, that's the thing that these spiritual dust bunnies don't understand. These robots, they don't understand. Listen, see, when it's in you, when it's in you, nothing can top it. Nothing can trump it. Nothing can overpower it. And they be so pissed off. They be so mad that they got to do something to get up under your skin. And then sometimes you may have had to check some people. Because it got to that point to where they kept doing certain things. Because they wanted you to focus on them and you had to check them. And when you check them, they want to go and tell everybody what you said. How you established that boundary how you laid down the law with them. You went to them one-on-one -on -one and told them personally how you felt about it. But guess what they gonna do, chosen ones? They gonna go to everybody else and tell them how they feel about what you said instead of coming to you. Why? Because your energy is just that powerful. They cannot come to you one-on-one -on -one by themselves. They're going to go and get other people involved. See, chosen one, we don't do that scary ass shit. We don't do that scary ass shit. We gonna come to you as a man, as a woman. We are going to come to you as a divine masculine, as a divine feminine, as a chosen one. We are going to come to you because there is no fear within us. See, but we come to them chosen ones and we let them know how we feel, what's on our heart, how we feel. Because we like to get to the bottom of things. We like to solve issues. We're trying to get to the nitty gritty. We're trying to figure out what was said, why are they doing it. You know, we want to, we, we solution based people. We're not, we not trying to keep drama going on by the fact of us confronting people or by the fact of us bringing things to the surface or, the, or to the table. We just don't like passive aggressiveness. We don't like to be unsure of what's going on. We like people to be up front and say what's on your chest. Say it with your chest. Say it with your chest. Don't be subliminal, baby. Say, say it with your chest. Say it with your chest. Say it with your chest. <laughs> but see, chosen ones, a lot of them ain't going to say it with their chest. They ain't going to say it with their chest. They going to go to other people and stir up some mess and make it seem bigger than what it was. Because really, they are jealous and intimidated. You intimidate these people. And here's another thing people do. They will use your positive attributes or your positive qualities or the things that you have. Maybe either you worked hard for or you, can, you didn't have anything to do with, like your genes, like how you were born, how you look. You can't help that you naturally have a beautiful physique or a good complexion or beautiful teeth. Or you've worked hard to lose weight or to gain weight. Or you've worked hard to get that degree. You've worked hard to get that position. And people, chosen ones, will hide behind what you got. Make it seem like you are acting away because of the things you have. When really, they've been picking at you. They've been throwing jabs at you, throwing shots at you. And then when you finally say something, when you finally speak up, they won't be like, oh, she think because she pretty that she could just say whatever she want to say. Or she think because she look like this that she could just say what she want. Or, or he think because he in this position that he could just do this. 
I know y'all probably didn't deal with this before. Don't think because you got that little bachelor's or that master's or that doctor degree that you smarter than everybody. Oh, don't think because you look like that that people just supposed to bow down to you. Oh, don't think because... And you ain't even think like that. You never said that. You never treated them this way, chosen ones. But the very fact that they can't mistreat and abuse you, the very fact that they don't want to accept the fact that you have worked hard for what you've worked for, or you are who you are, or you are naturally born a certain way, you can't help it. People would hide behind what they are insecure about you and try to flip it and make it seem like because you have these things that you feel like you could throw your weight around because of this or because of that, when really they are insecure because of this or that about you. Hello. Hello. I know. Baby, I need a towel. I'm sweating up in this thing. I'm talking and y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all ain't saying nothing. But listen, I just stop by to tell you that you're not crazy. It's nothing you've done. If you found yourself in a situation where you have tried to come to a person respectfully and let them know that a certain thing that they was doing to you was unacceptable or you had to lay down the law with somebody because they knew what they were doing toward you. They were secretly undercover trying to covertly do certain things or passive aggressively do things to you. And when you spoke it out of your mouth and pinpointed exactly what they were doing, they took offense to it. And they try to go and tell everybody that you said this in a certain way or you made a big issue about this when really it wasn't you making a big issue. It's just that they don't want to respect your boundaries. They thought they were going to keep getting this energetic boost of feeling like they were a little girl in you, a little boy in you, or trying to sun you or whatever they thought they was doing. But then when you check that ass and let them know, nah, uh -uh, nah you ain't gonna do that. Oh, then they want to find any excuse in the book to say why you are saying what you're saying. You know why? Because they were jealous all along. That's why they kept picking at you. That's why they kept trying to agitate you. That's why they kept trying to say things and do things to make you feel stupid and make you look stupid. That's why they kept projecting things on you. To make you feel small. To make you feel like you were less than. Because they were insecure about something in you. But the minute you correct them and call them out and tell them, uh -uh, stop that. Stop talking all loud like that to me. Stop doing all that. You ain't got to do all that. You know, I'm right here. Or you already told me that. I'm not slow. You ain't got to keep telling me that. You know? Or look now, and I already told you not to call me that. I told you that several times. You know, because we straight up like that. And we can do that. And a lot of people are intimidated by that because they are used to people like us chosen ones going along to get along. There's a certain level you get to in your journey, chosen ones. And if you're watching me, I'm sure you're there right now. Where you realize and you see through people's games, people's manipulation and their deception. And you call it out and you speak on it. You call it out and you speak on it. Not to be ugly, not to be rude, but just to let people know, hey, I see what's going on clearly, and we're not about to do that. You don't be looking for no trouble. You just be, you be having to let them know. You be having to let them know. And they don't like when you let them know. They feel played. They be wanting to fight you. They feel like, <laughs> they, they feel super embarrassed, you know? Number one, because they can no longer do what they was doing to you because you didn't call them out. And if they and they know if they keep doing it, it's going to really make them look like the problem. So they upset about that. Number two, it puts you back in your place of power. It keeps you in your place of power. And a lot of people, chosen ones, don't like your position of power. See, you don't try to overpower other people. You just stand in the power of who you are. And you will have a lot of people who don't like the fact that you stand in your own power. They are threatened by you standing in your own personal power. And so because of that, they will do everything they can to go against your personal power. To uproot your personal power. To interfere with your personal power. All because why? The pure, organic, raw, divine from the most high power within you surpasses, dominates, overpowers their fake power. You're not intentionally doing it, but it's just, <laughs> ain't nothing like the real thing, baby. Ain't nothing like the real thing. Ain't nothing like the real thing, baby. That's all it is.
Ain't nothing like the real thing. So if you have experienced this, I need you to understand that you did nothing wrong. It's just your personal power, your boundaries, your confidence, you knowing who you are, makes people do stupid shit. It make people act out their body. People feel like they body. They feel, feel like they out their body. Feel like they out their body. They be out their body. They be out their body. <laughs> when they get around you, they got to do the most because it's like, they don't like that personal power you be standing in. Uh -uh, they got to show you that you ain't as powerful as them. They living off fake false power already. But the fact that you ain't got to do all that because you know who you are, you just be chilling. You know what I'm saying? Or if you is feeling good, or if you are feeling yourself, it ain't got nothing to do with them. You don't be needing their validation or them to look at you. You just be feeling good, smelling good, and like you know you should. You just be up in that thing doing your thing. Or they gonna come for you. I said all this to say because I know a lot of y'all be wondering, hey man, I just be chilling, man. I be minding my business. I don't be doing nothing to nobody. Like, why people be coming for me, bro? This why they be coming for you. Because again, Ain't nothing like the real thing, baby. Ain't nothing like the real. <laughs> this is Marticia Soda Vine. I will talk to you guys next time. Peacock Society, baby. Bye.